Hello everybody. Back to normal. I do have company this week. I've got a stepdaughter in from Colorado with her boyfriend and so I might not get enough painting time in this week but uh, I will try to squeeze in what I can. So while they're gone in town to do some running around I'm gonna throw in a quick video. I also wanted to give a shout out to Arteza. They are um, asking if I would show their products. They were gracious and sent me a lot, a lot of stuff to try out. And I told them that I kind of do big pours and work on a larger scale. So they were kind enough to ship. Uh, this is a 14 pack and I don't have the box anymore because I had already opened it up and, <laughs> and did a pour the other day. And then I got my instructions on how they would like me to uh, promote them. And I've got a link below the video that will show the, um, the link to go over to the products that I recommend. And this is a 14 pack of premium acrylic tube paints. They're in these pouches. Each pouch is 4.06 ounces. It's very thick, creamy, and excellent quality paint. I already did one that was green and a purple one all together in one video back previously, multiple videos ago. And also, I think I used this smaller pack that I had purchased on Amazon. It's a 24 pack. And it is the same premium acrylic paints. It just comes in little trays of six tubes in each tray. So you get quite a selection of colors. And these tubes are 0.74 ounces, so they're not quite an ounce of paint. But they're very thick and creamy and rich and very, very beautiful when you use them. And I'm also going to you know, demonstrate in this video how to use them. So this is the 14 pack and just quickly it's black and white, silver and metallic gold. This is the burnt umber, the burnt sienna, phthalo green which is one of my favorites, pale green, yellow ochre, light uh, lemon yellow, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, Crimson red and scarlet red. So that was in a 14 pack that came boxed up in a set and I will provide links to that. And they also have canvases, they have markers and all kinds of products on their website if you want to check them out. This is an 8 pack of 12 by 12 inch canvases, 4 pack of 18 by 24 canvases, and I got a two pack of the 24 by 36 canvases. So I've got quite a few canvases to be able to pour on. I'm very appreciative of them sending me the product. And there will, there will also be a coupon code that I will mention below the video that is good until July 23rd. And it's Sandra underscore let 10. And that will get you 10% off of their products. So I will provide that link below the video. Don't forget that I've got a show coming up on July 19th in Raleigh. It's called Raw R-A-W, Connect at the Ritz in Raleigh, July 19th at 7 p.m. It's going to be about 60 artists and I will have a booth there or a space of about six feet, so it's not a lot of space. But I will be there and I will have some canvases for sale and prints of some of my work that is most, I think, you know, most popular. So I, I am hoping that uh, you might be able to come. There will be a link for my page to roll. And if you click on that link, the tickets are for sale there for $20 a piece. And so there is a $20 admission, but what happens is that admission price goes to my entry fee to have that booth space at this event. 
which is four hundred dollars so it's kind of a, it's in a way it's kind of supporting me to be in that event and even if you cannot come and you live in a different part of the country or wherever you can also purchase a ticket and uh, just donate the twenty dollars to help me get into the event it will be greatly appreciated it will be support for me to be able to get into the event and show my artwork and I'm really looking forward to it and if you want to support me I would greatly appreciate that so I put my four push pins in on the bottom again this one here they Arteza did not send it to me but I did purchase it on Amazon and I love the quality of the paint so I have chosen orange yellow mid yellow Mars black burnt umber and scarlet red and so I'm gonna put these out of the way and I don't even have maybe a half an ounce of paint in these little three ounce cups today I am going to be using crawl when they're thick like this you can kind of like tap them down in your cups to help them settle more on the bottom and then I just eyeball the one-to-one -one ratio of my paint I do not measure it I'm a chemist I'm an artist <laughs> so I just like to paint and so I don't really fool with measurements and all that stuff a bottle of water and it's got a little Floetrol mixed into the water that's why it comes out a little white looking so it's mostly water with just a touch of Floetrol usually I'll take the end of a bottle of Floetrol that I've pretty much emptied out I'll put some water in it shake it around and put it in a bottle and use that it's a good idea because then you have kind of that mixture between water and Floetrol and so you're keeping that all bound together with the acrylic doing this on all of my colors a one-to-one -one ratio and then water to get to the right consistency where it pours off in a steady stream like honey on this kind of red kick here like I love red and I love it with black and brown and yellow and orange so I'm uh, I'm gonna keep doing some different pours my sister was here from Tennessee and she's heading back today but she took my Mars, the Mars painting that I did that had the, um, kind of, that kind of looked like Mars. It was just red and black and it was kind of deeper in colors. It was very beautiful in real life. Oh, and I might have had some metallic gold. I, that's one other thing I need to mix up is some metallic gold. That just made me think about that. A little more metallic gold in here than I did everything else, so. It took just a little bit more flow trawl and that if you if you're seeing this video for the first time in acrylic pouring and you don't know what it is flow trawl is a water based so that's where it says latex based it's meant for acrylic paint or wall paint only nothing oil based goes with this you don't want anything you don't want oil based flow trawl at all it goes with oil paint and acrylic pouring is strictly acrylics and the only thing I add is going to be silicone but today I'm using the OGX coconut milk anti breakage hair serum because it produces big juicy bold cells that I love and cells happen when your paint acrylic separates because of the milk the coconut milk or the silicone in it it causes a reaction and that's what causes the magic with acrylic pouring acrylic pouring that makes it so interesting and like every time you paint it's a big surprise all over again so yeah this is a lot thicker than the regular colors so it's going to have to probably go all the way to the top here in order to get it mixed you can never have too much metallics in my opinion and metallics too 
are kind of heavier, they'll, they want to sink, so I try to keep them a little bit more on the thinner side if I can. That gives them a chance, a little bit more of staying on top. And all these cups and everything, this will probably be way more paint than I need and I might be able to do a second canvas with them as well. So I've got three ounce cups and I've got probably about 12 to 13 ounces of paint mixed up when it all it gets finished and that will be enough to do two 12 by 12 canvases. And I am almost at 25,000 subscribers and that means it's time for me to give away something really special. So I'm thinking I'll give away a free item like a small painting or whatever. So um, I'll be probably doing a video all by itself just on a contest. On this yellow, I am going to add just a little squeeze of burnt sienna. The yellow is a little bit bright for what I want with this pour, so I'm gonna try to tone it down here and get it a little bit more golden colored, not so bright. My orange will be brighter and I want my orange to be brighter. I think the last one I did too, I did two paintings. One I used cream in it and the other one I didn't use hardly any cream and I used black. So I you know, kind of traded off and used, replaced the cream with black, kind of with these same colors. And I think I only had the, the uh, coconut milk in the red. So maybe I'll put it in two of the colors this time, just for the fun of it. Kind of have in mind two different things I want to do. A little bit more water on that one. Okay, so the final color is orange. It's pretty bright. All right. So that's that. So I'm going to get my other canvas ready. So this one is ready to go when I'm finished with the first one. And I had to show you too before I get started. Now I've got to add my coconut milk to my colors. I've got two things here. On my website, every month I do a contest giveaway. And I picked the wrong gloves again, so I'm going to put two pairs on. So each time I give, do a giveaway, I give away a free print or like I gave away the Koi Fish acrylic block this past time. So if you want an opportunity to win something on my website, this is just a monthly giveaway that I've been doing for quite a while. You have to go to the website when there's a contest going on. And I usually give you about a week and I'm getting ready to do one. I'll probably maybe hopefully put one on there by tomorrow. I'm either going to give away the, uh, this is a pillow cover. It's made out of fabric and you put a 16 inch pillow. This is I think 16 inches. You put a pillow insert inside of here and you've got these uh, flowers that I painted, I had it printed on a pillow cover. So that, it'll either be that or it's going to be the one that everybody loved, the swipe with the flowers at the bottom. This is a tote. So it's a bag, it's probably 15 inches, 13 to 15 inches and it has handles. And you can use it like a pocketbook or put books in it or whatever you want to do. It's made out of fabric, like canvas fabric. It's you know, kind of a heavier fabric. So here is the tote. So I'm wondering, what do you think I should give away this month? Should I do the tote or the pillow cover? You can comment below the video and let me know what you think. I'm going to do a dirty pour first. And I've got the gold, the metallic gold, orange, black, brown, and red. And with coconut milk, less is more. If you want really big cells, don't put a ton in your paint. 
and I don't do a full pump because if you do a full pump it's quite a bit of product so I do what's called a half pump which is just a drop I'll do it in the the golden color and in the red couple of stirs that's it for now and I got me a I don't know this is an eight ounce cup and I want this one kind of dark so I'm gonna start with the black we'll do brown I tell you what I'm gonna do this more like a gradient pour but I've got silicone which will make it more interesting to see what happens with the cells how about that red and gradient means that you kind of layer the colors instead of just pouring them in to where they sink and go into each other layering means they the gradient thing means they kind of lay on top of each other more so and see now this orange just sunk in the red i didn't want it to but it did that was not meant to do that gold and metallic gold some went down in and some is on top so we'll see what happens i think i think i will do a tree ring pour but this has silicone remember yeah i'll top it off with a little black even just to see what happens so instead of pouring in the center I'm going to start on the outskirts and come in. Pour in the middle. Mm. I'm going to pour, but I'm going to go in a circular pattern. So we'll just see what happens. End in the center. So already the larger cells are popping up, which is awesome because I love cells. And I don't want this to look like a tree ring, but I like the concept of it going in that pattern. And I'm going to heat gun it first. I'm going to let it sit. And the other, the other colors that I have left, the, the same colors, but the other paint that I have left, I'm going to do a swipe with. Just out of curiosity to see how these Arteza paints will swipe with Floetrol in them and, and coconut milk and so it will be an experiment right here on camera for you. So I'm going to add a little bit more black water to my black while I'm thinking of it because I want it nice and fluid for my swiping color. What I'm going to do is put this aside and let it sit and let those cells grow. We're going to do two at the same time. And this one is going in one direction for some reason. So I've raised, I've raised it up so that hopefully it won't keep drifting that way. So I'll keep an eye on it. So on this one, I'm going to do, a, do puddles of color and swipe with black. So I need first, I need to make sure I have the paper towel that is the right size for my canvas. I think this is three pieces and I probably just need two. So that's the first thing I set up is to make sure I've got my paper towel that is the width of my canvas or if you're doing like a really large canvas, then you have to pre-plan how many paper towels you're going to need, that kind of thing, or what you're swiping with. you got to plan it out. So that's ready to go. And it's just very slightly damp. It's not like wet, wet, and it's not dry. So I want to start, I think I'm going to start with red. And I made sure to go over on my sides so happy when I'm painting. I don't know about y'all, but I really miss it when I can't do it. So I'm just kind of scooting that along to spread it out a little bit. Make sure I'm over on my edges. Then the gold. This does 
doesn't have to be perfect here because you're going to be swiping over it. Uh, this is all going to be moving off of the canvas. Now I'm going to do my metallic gold. Got a little bit of that left. I'm going to leave that. Just making sure my edges are covered. And then my brown, which I've got a good amount of. I have no idea what this... You never really know unless you do two pours pretty much the same identical way. You then kind of know how it's going to turn out. But when you're doing a pour like in a certain color range or with a certain brand or different pouring medium or using coconut milk versus silicone, it's all kind of always going to be a surprise. And this doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to be swiped towards you. So I'm just kind of closing in the gaps. Actually, I'll bring this down some. Really, when you swipe, whatever is at the top is going to be your kind of the main focus of the colors that pop through. So you kind of lose a lot of what's at the bottom. That's why I'm using the brown because I would rather have those brighter colors come through than the brown because brown and black are, you know, dark. So the brown's not going to show up as much. That's why I chose to do it this way. Covered. And I can also just like stick my finger in the black and come along the edge here and just kind of get a light base right there just with my fingertip. Let's just get that black base on there. So I'm going to pour my black across here. This is Mars black, which is kind of more of a reddish black. It's not a, it's not a black black. It's not super dark black. So much fun. Cool thing is, is the other one gets to sit and wait and it gets to reveal its beauty after this one reveals its beauty. So all my color is filled in on my canvas. You can also, you know, tilt one way and the other if you need it to cover, you know, a little bit. You can do it that way too. And this would probably be interesting just tilting back and forth and not swiping. You know, there's always something fun. You can always make anything fun to do. So I'm going to lay my paper towel down in my black and totally let it sink down. It around and I'm going to tap it on the end. That does is it kind of covers the end of your canvas too, just slightly. Making sure the paint got down on the sides pretty well. I'm loving this. Boing! See, by using just a half a pump and two colors, look at those cells and they're I haven't had cells form like this before in a pour because I usually put silicone in all my colors. So that just goes to show that you can use less and still get fabulous cells, right? Just a, just a note. So I'm adding the black back here because I did, you know, kind of swipe it off with my paper towel which is okay because this area doesn't have color under it and you can go back and add your black and be totally okay. I'm going to let this one sit and go back to this one. I'm going to move this, well, yeah, I'm going to move this paper towel out of the way that I swiped with. I love this already. Even if it didn't change any from this, I'm going to love it. So I'm just scooting this over. This one has sat for a while. I haven't put anything on my canvas that's wet. This is just on a straight canvas out of the package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
let it go to the corner and come back. Look at those sails. I'm doing this slowly. Really, really, really want to keep those beautiful sails if I can. a lot of that golden color that I mixed the um, bright yellow with the burnt sienna in it it showed up probably more than I wanted it to I really wanted it to be the deeper colors so I may I may roll this off of the canvas not sure yet to make sure I don't drip on my swipe either. I'm going to have to roll this off. I love this so much. Basically letting the paint flow over the edge. And then I can keep letting it come a little bit more. I really love this here. I love that. I'm not so crazy about that. That's But first, see what I can get out of this cup. It's corners. Stick and see if I can get anything good out of here. Uh, maybe I'll use my palette knife helps because you can kind of keep the cell formation without muddying it up a, a whole lot. When you use something you can kind of scrape with and preserve that color. Basically, I'm just trying to get paint on the sides of the canvas. And then I can tilt over the edges to make the pattern continue down the sides. I just want to make sure I've got paint so there's no white on the edges. Drips from when you pour, there's going to be some fabulous color in there too. So be, be paying attention to that as well want to I'm gonna come back this way just to get rid of a little more of that gold that yellow basically the yellowy part this <laughs> I love it I love it and I love that too I need to get this edge and this edge to blend in over this a little bit so I'm gonna use my skewer which helps to give a really light touch if you just barely skim it. Allow you to drag that color a little bit and it'll look kind of natural like it was meant to be. Here, actually I could blow, I could blow that. Let me see what happens if I blow it. I'm going to try that here. A little bit more of a fiery look on that side. And maybe I'll take some red and orange from this drip right here in black and just see, just barely, barely drag that skewer. Love this. That's kind of funky right there in the middle because it almost looks like white has been in my pour, but I didn't use any white at all. So that's kind of interesting that that little part popped up there. Do a shape and it doesn't look real natural. If you just softly blow, it'll kind of just very lightly kind of blow it out. So, and I didn't notice that you weren't in the frame there. So there is that one and I love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to take the heat gun. These are gloves to use my fingers with, so I'm going to have to use something else besides my finger to touch up any colors. I forgot to turn one of my lights on, and I've, my camera has shifted, apparently. <laughs> That's too funny. Sorry about the camera shifting. I didn't even know. It was probably like going like really slow as you watched. I think I could do these color combinations like over and over and over again. I love color so much and I love the vividness of yellow, orange, gold, red. It just looks fiery. It just looks like hot, passionate, sexy, you name it. I just love the combination. So I am done with this one. I'm bringing it up to you so you can see the close-ups. So there are large juicy cells and that is by being patient with it and sitting and letting it just do its thing for a little while. You don't, you don't have to quickly pour. People sometimes think they need to rush and if they don't get it done quickly something's going to happen and that is not the case at all. Many favorites of pours that I've done. It's so hard to say which is your favorite and which isn't. It just is so hard. But I am always in love with colors. Here is that one. I'm going to call that Volcano. It looks like it's erupting. Always when you do paintings and you have to touch up something maybe where you missed a spot or you know on the side or something like this is Mars Black by Arteza don't use a lamp black by Deco Art or an artist loft black because all the blacks are different this is a not super dark black so I have to use the same black in order to touch it up heat gun one more time didn't change Take my straw and see if I just blow slightly. Causes things to happen. Drop a drip of alcohol down here, right there. I'm just waiting to see if anything happens. Nothing happened, but where I blew, now those orange cells have popped out. So maybe I'll just go around and blow here and there. Where I put the alcohol, it's kind of splaying out. Almost that again. I've got a squirt bottle with alcohol. So I'm just squirting it on my palette knife. I'm just going to drip it here and there. See the circles in the black paint? But nothing is happening yet. Give it some time, I guess. <laughs> I didn't know what was going to happen, so it's kind of interesting what's happening. It's the one that has the coconut milk. But the alcohol again. If I try one, what, what will happen on top of the orange? Little uh, stamens or something. It's interesting. If I did that one. So I guess it doesn't matter if you go back. I'm not crazy about that. Uh, so what I could do is mix up a little bit more black. Yes, I don't really want to screw that up. It's kind of growing on me, actually. A little orange. Orange is really hard color back over it. Just drop a dot of black in this orange area where the alcohol is and just see what happens here. It doesn't have silicone. Drop it back in there, the alcohol, and I'm going to put red on top of it. 
I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just playing. When you're not in love with something, just keep playing till you love it. Okay, so it, it basically covered the black up, but it's doing cells again, so it's just another way to get cells as well. And I do let my drips come over. If there's a design going on, I will take that drip over the edge just to let it do its thing because all the sides here have all different colors. So I'm just making sure that there's something going on interesting. I guess that metallic gold is what I have seen on my canvas that almost looks white but it's not white it's metallic gold. The lightest part here is the metallic gold. Stretch down. But I don't see these little cells here are squishing, I'm not sure. But I'm going to let it drift for a little bit. And then I'm going to go back. Because I do want to keep the roundness of the cells that are on here. I don't want to make them turn into flat little marshmallows which is what we do often when we tilt too much we kind of take it overboard mm -hmm. I could have just left well enough alone and not really done anything at the bottom but I'm not like disliking it it's it's okay it's a, it looks different from the top part, and, you know, that's okay, too. I really love this thing here, and it just kind of popped out on its own. Burst of color there. This area doesn't have a lot of paint underneath, obviously, but that got some of that to pop out. So that's good. I'm going to call this one done, too. And I'm going to make sure I have paint on this end, on the top part. Kitchen counter, that's what I use to place my wet canvases on. And so if I can try to get some of the drips that are down on the underside of the canvas with my finger, that ultimately saves my countertop from getting paint on it, which is fine because it will come off with a straight edge razor. So I'm always, it's just, you know, linoleum, old linoleum countertops. And I just use my straight edge razor and scrape it right off when it dries. But um, I'm pretty pleased with this, even though the bottom is kind of funky and different. This one is there's the top and the bottom. Right. There it is. The part about the brown craft paper is you can just fold it up and put it away. After it dries, you can turn it over and use the other side. You know, I've already used the other side, so I've made good use out of this. But this is not butcher paper. This is just brown craft paper. Um, so I don't really have any paint left except for a little bit of brown and some gold. Yeah. But 
So what I'll do is I'll add this gold to my bottle of metallic gold and I'll add my black to my bottle of black. And that's where I keep all my paints are in my squeeze bottles. So when I finish up a pour and I've got paint left in the cups, I just blend it into my bottles with the color that it goes with. So that's nice and simple. And you're not having to store your paint with plastic over it or anything like that. You can just basically open your bottle up. So that finishes up the cup and it's nice and full in my bottle. And I just shake my bottle up and blend everything together. And of course, you know, my black and white never have silicone in it. And these are the bottles that I absolutely love that I just got eight more of. And you put the lid on, screw it on. It's nice and tight and sealed and good till the next time I use it. I did not use my white, but I had opened it up. So I'm just closing it up and putting it away. So I hope you enjoyed everything. I have a Facebook group that if you would like to join so that you can be able to get a little bit more personal with me besides the comments through YouTube, ask me questions and that kind of thing, come join my Facebook group. The link will be below the video. You just click on the link and it will take you straight to the Facebook page and that way you don't have to search for it. And uh, if you're a subscriber, or if you'd like to subscribe today, there's also a bell on the bottom right, it'll be down here. I'm trying to find my hand here. It'll be down in that corner down there. <laughs> it'll say subscribe with the bell and you click on the bell and that will give you notifications every time I upload a video. And I'll link if you would like to donate anything. I'm always spending money every week on supplies to bring you great videos and I have some sponsors that will send me products every so often and I like Arteza and that's what this was today was a demo with Arteza and I love their paint. It is thick and creamy and it goes a long way. It's very good quality and it levels out be beautifully as well. I don't ever have issues with cracking and crazing and I never use the glue. I started in the very beginning I tried glue all and that's good for beginners, but I don't recommend it if you're wanting to keep your paintings long term or if you want to sell your paintings, I do not recommend using glue in your, in your paintings. So that's why I use Floetrol. I used it for over 25 years. I've done it with wall finishes and everything else. It's a proven product that works great with acrylic paint and so that's why I choose Floetrol most of the time. Oatrol is the other brand that I use that's European and when they ship me Oatrol I demo it and it is fabulous too. There's probably a little less clumping. It's very good at self-leveling. It's the European version of the American Floetrol and um, DecoArt when I do deco art, if I have their pouring medium, I use the deco art pouring medium so you can see how their pouring medium and their paint work together, how well it works. So that is pretty much it, I think. I appreciate you watching so much and thank you for watching. Those that came in and watched over the weekend on the live video, we had a lot of technical difficulties because my computer is an older computer and, and it's CPU is kind of slow and so we lost connection multiple times but there were people that hung in there and for those I want to just say thank you. I appreciate you uh, for doing that. We enjoyed doing the pour together, Lily and I, and uh, check out her channel. It's Lily's Mix, L-I-L-Y-S-M-I-X, all one word, one word, Lily's Mix and she has her fabulous channel too. So go check her out. I'm all about
giving you people that you can look at and watch their videos and learn from. That's how I learn as I go watch other artists and then I come back and I try my own. So I am very grateful for those of you that try to do pours or swipes or whatever you do that are, you know, try to similar to my style that that makes me very humble and I'm very grateful for you. And uh, I am going to be doing some larger swipes after this week when, uh, when my family company that's here now, when they leave and I can get my table and everything set up again, I will be putting out some videos with some larger swipes. I'm going to do some bigger stuff again. I'm looking forward to that immensely. Thanks again. Please give me a sign. And then I can keep letting it come a little bit more.